welcome back to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie today, and um, I've got this quick little uh, tutorial. Have y'all ever thought about putting your favorite mix corners into a pan? Now, I did my grays and my a green uh, last night. Mm, I don't know what that palette is. Well, oh shit. Well, let's say I made a mess because this these ain't dry yet. But I did put these in my um, Inkscape watercolors because I don't like the greens and I don't like the uh, mixes of the gray or the green that I get on, in this palette. But I like the palette. <clears throat> it makes a lot of sense, don't it? I mean, I like the separate yellow and I like the separate blues. But I don't like the blue and the yellow mixed. <clears throat> and I don't like the blue and the brown. What's, what, what I'm, I just don't like the color of it. That's just my, my opinion. So, I decided I'd mix up some gray. Well, to get the gray I wanted, I kept on mixing. I winded up with five pans of gray and two, one and a half pans of green. But I'm fine with that because, like I said, I like the certain colors I want in a palette. And those is two of the ones I want. I use, I mix those a lot. And I'm thinking, why am I mixing this all the time? When I can just make a big a batch and put it in an extra pan and stick it in a pal my palette. So, today we're making pumpkin. I'm using um, Master Touch Fine Art Studio Premium Watercolor Ultramarina Blue and um, Deep Crimson Lincium Red, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, Hopefully, I don't make five big old, a big old pile of it like I did last night. Oh, so those dogs better not be in my paint. Now I'm just going to mix these up. Then we'll test them. That's why I kept on mixing last night with the gray. And I am just using a, a glass plate to do this. And a knife. And you can tell the knife's been through a lot. And I'm just going to mix this up really, really good. I know I could have just put the yellow I wanted in it. And I, I, I'm liable to do that eventually. Now, I will warn you, you might want gloves when you put it in the... Pans because it does kind of get messy. Or it does on me. Now, y'all may be cleaner. Don't make as much messes as I do, but I make messes. <coughs> and you can find empty pans on uh, Amazon all day long. And I bought these a couple years ago. My palettes is magnet, so I'm going to. And I'll probably make enough. Probably made enough for two pal, two pans. And 
and then I just scrape it up with my knife and stick it in my pan. That's one thing I like about watercolors. You can pre-mix and don't have to worry about it. And you'll get the same Okay, I got about a pan and and a half. And I'm fine with that. Because that will take me forever to use. And then just let it dry. I mean, you may have to let it dry a day or two. But that's fine with me because I don't use watercolors every day. I hope this gave, gave you some idea of how to use your pre-mix or make pre-mixes watercolor if you like this video and want more of them subscribe below give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and we'll catch you tomorrow have a blessed day bye